Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss the advances in sewage treatment. The techniques that are going to be discussed uh, in this video are sequencing batch reactor, moving bed biofilm reactor, membrane bioreactor and UASB. First one is ASB or, or uh, sequencing batch reactor. As the name suggests, everything happens here in a sequential manner. Right? The, uh, the SBR, it does the equalization, biological treatment, secondary clarification. It all happens in one place. Right? It all happens in a sequence. And that is why it is called sequencing batch reactor. It is a time controlled sequence so everything happens as per the schedule uh, it's basically uh, the fill and draw activated sludge system means uh, what you do is in a tank you fill the sludge and you draw the sludge once it is filled and here in this system uh, the wastewater is added as a batch right what happens here is um, here uh, it comes in the influent comes in a batch and it gets filled here and once it is filled the aeration happens and once the aeration is done and we give time for it to settle and once the things are settled once the sludge is settled then we discharge the effluent right and we discharge it and we retain certain sludge certain amount of sludge so that that acts as a seed for the next batch that is to be filled up right so we retain the sludge here again to it we add the influent again we repeat the process right so everything here happens in a single uh, happens here in a single tank so here it also it happens in a sequencing uh, sequencing uh, phase so that is why it is called sequencing batch reactor okay right and here we'll discuss about the merits and demerits of uh, this technique and here uh, it, we get an effluent treatment quality the efficiency of the treatment is high and the space required for uh, for this plant is also very less because the footprint is less less by that we don't require separate primary secondary clarifier digester all happens in one single tank and also the technology is proven and so it is more reliable and the high degree of coliform bacteria removal is also one of the uh, good advantages of this technique and when we have lesser higher uh, coliform removal the amount of chlorine dosage will also come down right and chlorine is a disinfectant when you don't have much of bacteria inside it the amount of uh, chlorine that's being used can also be reduced significantly and the advantage is that it can withstand higher uh, shock loads yeah? higher shock load in sense of hydraulic loading as well as organic loading what we do is we have a tank and we fill up the waste that comes inside so uh, so the treatment can also be tweaked based on the amount of uh, organic matter that is present inside the uh, tank so uh, if if the influent has higher amount of organic loading the amount of the duration of aeration that's being done can also be increased by that the organic load it has the capability of withstanding the organic load compared to the other methods of treatment and the demerits or uh, we have to spend a lot of energy to towards the uh, towards running the plant right it requires a lot of energy consumption and also the um, uh, also to achieve uh, we have discussed this method has more efficiency to achieve the higher efficiency uh, a bit of automation is required because uh, to find out if the uh, 
to find out if uh, the uh, organic matters are completely digested we require some kind of automation so the aeration has to be done un until the organic uh, matters are completely uh, you know completely digested right and also the skill level of the operator also need to be higher right and we we lose the chance of producing energy out of the organic content any organic content we have we can produce energy out of it right but in this condition we are spending a lot of energy towards maintaining the plant and since it's more power driven the amount of power supply that is required is, is also higher right and next is mbr technology see in this is uh, in this technology we use membrane after the uh, so depending on the type of reuse of the effluent we use the membrane at the appropriate stage right uh, use of membrane is the mbo technology and here you look at this uh, schematic flow diagram and this will clearly tell you the different uh, use of uh, mbo right first one is for agricultural purpose and uh, so here in agricultural purpose the sewage is primary it is treated in the primary clarifier aeration basin secondary clarifier and then we go for ultra filtration and then we reuse it again when it's being used for industrial cooling towers what we do is industrial cooling towers sewage primary clarifier we add a membrane bioreactor and reuse it right when it's being used for firefighting primary clarifier aeration secondary clarifier pre treatment and then we go for ro right before it's being treated for before it's being put for ro it has to be pre treated so that the membrane the membrane life of the uh, membrane uh, the life of the membrane used in the ro system is extended right then uh, if the sewage is being used for gardening other other purposes uh, and gardening and car washing what has to be done is again with that process we have to go for a uh, primary clarifier aeration basin secondary clarifier you have to have you, you have to use ultra filtration an extra ultra filtration or was or or also preferred or was also preferred and because uh, uh, when you are going for gardening and car washing it is human you you will have a human intervention so if at all if you are going to use human intervention the level of treatment to be done is it should be higher and also if the car wash when you don't do the proper treatment and that may also lead to the corrosion in the car wash in, in the cars right if it's being used for car wash and uh, and next is for uh, toilet flushing if it's being if it's going to be used for toilet flushing uh, we can primary clarify you can you can treat the uh, sewage in primary clarifier and use it in a bi membrane bioreactor then you can use it in an ro and again you can use it for toilet flushing right Right. Thank you.